Carnegie Mellon University, we have been working towards a system for speaking to computers. In this film, we will try to show the problems that arise in getting a computer to understand speech. We all know that a native speaker uses, unconsciously, his knowledge of the language, the environment, and the context in understanding a sentence. This knowledge includes the characteristics of the sounds, the stress and intonation patterns of speech, a dictionary of legal words, the grammatical structure of the language, the meaning of words and sentences, and the context of the conversation. To illustrate the problems of speech recognition by computers, let us examine the sentences we heard earlier and their inconsistencies with some of these sources of knowledge. Colorless paper packages crackle loudly. Colorless yellow ideas sleep furiously. Plate rises dangerously young colors. Ben burada ne yaptığımı bilmiyorum. Now we'll try a different experiment. I'll say a sentence and you try and write down what you hear. In muddy ozar, in clay none are, in pine tar is, in oak none is. These examples illustrate that the listener forces his own interpretation of what he hears and not necessarily what may have been intended by the speaker. In muddy ozar, in clay none are. Because the subjects do not have the contextual framework to expect the words mud eels together, they write more likely sounding combinations such as my deals or models. To equal human performance, a machine must use all these sources of knowledge effectively. In the hearsay system, this is achieved by representing knowledge as a set of cooperating parallel processes. Let's now observe the system at work. Pawn to queen four. I heard pawn to queen four. Let us reanalyze the preceding sentence without the higher level sources of knowledge. Have you been afraid of surgery? The effect of removing these sources of knowledge allows the consideration of many words which would normally be rejected by syntax and semantics. As a result, the system is overwhelmed by the number of options it must consider. Notice how much longer it takes to generate each new hypothesis. In addition, the number of options it must keep around causes the system to exceed its memory capacity. To date, the system has been tested on 144 connected speech utterances containing 676 words spoken by five speakers and consisting of four tasks with vocabularies ranging from 28 to 76 words. On the average, the system seems to locate and identify about 89% of the words correctly with all the sources of knowledge. Without semantics, the accuracy decreases to 67%. It decreases further to 44% when neither syntax nor semantics are used in the recognition process. To be acceptable as an input medium, the system must not only perform with high accuracy, but it must also minimize the combinatorial explosion so as to respond as fast as a human would in a similar situation.